In this video, I'd like to show a different kind of method of using the login form. In a previous video, I showed the basics of just, you know, getting the login form out of the template library and then just placing it on a screen. And um, this was the, the, the project from that previous video. And I had a, basically I'd created a screen called user login. You go to the user login tab up here and we can choose our users, either user one, two, or three. I'd create it, log in, um, and that was basically it. Um, and just as a quick refresher for that, um, you can come to the template library and type in login. And the login form shows up right here. Um, it's under widgets, login form. You basically take the login form and you drag it into um, into the uh, project view, place it under uh, the UI folder somewhere. And then basically you can use the login form um, widget on, on, a, on a screen. Um, but what if we wanted to basically use a login window instead of creating a screen? So what I mean by that is if you come up here to the native presentation engine, uh, and or the web presentation engine. Uh, when we come to the properties, we see that there is a login window option here, right? So the start window is uh, default to the main window, but there's this login window. And if you try to put the screen that we created over here, the user login screen, if you try to put that in here, it it doesn't work. It 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 gives you an error because it has to be what's known as a window. So by default, when you first create a optics project, the main window is created. And this is basically um, the main window, the main container that holds all of your screens, panels, um, dialog boxes that pop up, all that, you know, are, are basically inside that main window. You can create new or new windows. So if you come to the UI folder and right click and say new and containers, there is an option for a window. So we're going to go ahead and choose window and then uh, it's called window one. I'm going to call it, um, I'm just going to give it a name of login window. And I'm going to take it and just drag it and move it up here kind of underneath the main window just to kind of keep things organized. Now, um, to, just to come to the main window, we can see that our, our um, properties are 1024 by 720. If I click on the login window, we see that it's 400 by 400. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it match the same properties as the uh, main window. If I double click on the login window, it just basically opens up a uh, kind of a blank canvas. So again, a window is essentially the main container that will hold the various screens, panels, um, you know, and, and et cetera, that you, that you create in your application. So what we're gonna do is um, just basically, I'm going to put that login uh, form right here on this login window. And to do that, um, I'm going to uh, come to the uh, user login screen. And I'm just gonna copy, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the, the, the login form. I already had a, a login form created and it's already configured to my users folder. So if I just go ahead and copy that, and come back to my login window. I'm just going to say paste. And then that just puts the login form. So basically I have login form two and it's already set up to my um, users folder. Now I could put some other stuff on this window if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it at this. So now we have a login window created with the login form on it. If I come back here to my native presentation engine, I can now choose from the pull down menu, I have the option 
to choose either login window or main window. So I'm going to choose login window. Just to show that um, I also have a web presentation engine added to this project. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to say uh, choose the login window as well. So basically now all I got to do is start up the emulator. And the difference between what we had before, what we had before was basically the project started and then you had to go to the user login tab. What happens now is once the emulator starts up, it forces the user or the operator to the login screen. So it brought you right to the login window and you have to basically log in before you can get any further and into the, into the, um, in, into the uh, application. So just going to enter the password that I had created for user one and now we're in. Since I did say we had a web presentation engine, I wanted to show that if I go to Chrome and if I type in my local host 8080, which is basically the address um, for this, uh, for this uh, optics application, um, uh, basically it did the same thing. It brought me to the, to the login window and it forces me to log in. So uh, maybe perhaps I'll log in as user two. And we see now we're logged in to the web session as user two. And how we know that is uh, basically oven one, uh, two is available. Whereas when we were logged in here in the native um, engine, uh, we were logged in as user one and we have access to user one, but not to user two. And we also have access to user uh, oven three. So we just had some different privileges based on if you were user one, two, or three, essentially. So essentially we can, um, you know, uh, force the user to have to log in before even accessing the, the application by using a, uh, by creating a new window and putting the login on that.